Hi, I'm Paul Flynn, Managing Director and CEO of Whitehaven Coal, and together with our CFO, Kevin Ball, I'd like to take you through some of the highlights of a transformative year for Whitehaven. The company delivered a solid financial result in FY24, with strong contributions in our first quarter of ownership from the recently acquired Dornier and Blackwater metallurgical coal mines. With cash generation of $1.3 billion in FY24, our underlying impact for the year was $740 million. After $385 million of charges, primarily associated with acquisition-related costs, including stamp duty, we reported a statutory NPAT of $355 million. This performance means we've been able to announce a fully franked final dividend of $0.13 cents per share, taking the full year dividend to $0.20 cents per share fully franked. I'm also pleased to report that the health and safety of our operations continue to trend in the right direction. For the FY24 financial year, we delivered a 30% improvement in safety performance for our New South Wales operations, recording a total recordable injury frequency rate, or TRIFA, of 3.3. In Queensland, our newly acquired assets delivered a TRIFA of 6.6 .6 in the June quarter, and we're targeting sustained improvement across these operations as we continue to integrate them into the broader group. Our focus on environmental and sustainability management has also continued to deliver the outcomes we want to see for the second year of zero environmental enforceable actions. As I mentioned, financial year 24 has been a transformative year for Whitehaven. We successfully executed our long-held strategic pivot towards metallurgical coal through the acquisition of Dornier and Blackwater. This highly attractive acquisition has diversified our business and brings with it scale benefits and significant value upside for shareholders. Transition activities have progressed smoothly since completion and we are already seeing benefits of exposure to the supply constrained metallurgical coal market. We also delivered solid results from our thermal coal assets in FY24, which remain strategically important as we continue to help our customers reduce their emissions by providing our high quality and high CV products. Across the group, ROM production of 24.5 million tonnes was up 34%, reflecting Q4 production of 4.8 million tonnes from our new Queensland assets and increased volumes from New South Wales. Our open cut operations in New South Wales performed particularly well and Narrabri delivered improved production in the fourth quarter. From this, we achieved equity sales of produced coal of 16.4 million tonnes, up 26% on FY23. In quarter four, we were delighted to deliver first production and sales from our early mining of Vickery, which will continue to ramp up through financial year 25. At the same time, we safely transitioned Werris Creek from an operating mine to a rehabilitation site. Werris Creek has been the quiet achiever of our New South Wales open cut operations, delivering over 26 million tonnes of thermal coal to support our customer base across Asia and keep hundreds of locals employed. It is appropriate to recognise the contribution of all our people involved in Werris Creek operations over the past 20 years, and I'm especially pleased that many of them have opted to redeploy across the business. Before I ask Kevin to comment on the financial results for FY24, I would like to highlight our announcement that we have agreed to sell 30% of the Blackwater mine to Nippon Steel and JFE Steel, key customers of ours in Japan and significant users of Blackwater metallurgical coal. This strategic joint venture, which includes off-take arrangements with both partners, not only validates the acquisition and ongoing importance of Blackwater Coal in the metallurgical coal market, but de-risks Whitehaven balance sheet much quicker than many would have expected. When the transactions complete, which we expect by the first quarter of calendar year 2025, we will receive an aggregate cash consideration of US $1.08 billion. Let me now hand over to Kevin. Looking at the financial details, as Paul said, we delivered a strong financial result. The benefits from our transformational and keenly structured acquisition and our prudent approach to capital management has allowed us to grow and deliver significant shareholder value. Revenues of $3.8 billion this year were underpinned by an achieved average coal price of $217 per tonne for our New South Wales operations and $271 per tonne for Queensland in the June quarter. Underlying EBITDA for the year ended 30 June 2024 was $1.4 billion, including a June quarter EBITDA contribution of $272 million from Dornier and Blackwater Mines following completion of the acquisition on 2 April 2024. Cash generated from our operations totaled $1.3 billion for the year, and our underlying net profit after tax 
of $740 million was before $385 million of cost adjustments, primarily associated with acquisition expenses including stamp duty. And statutory net profit after tax for FY24 was $355 million. Our balance sheet is in a strong position, with net debt at 30 June 2024 totaling $1.3 billion, after spending $3.3 billion Australian dollars on the acquisition in FY24 and paying $1 billion in income tax. The expected $1.08 billion US dollar proceeds from the 30% sell-down of Blackwater will further strengthen Whitehaven's balance sheet, providing enhanced flexibility as we assess the range of competing opportunities for capital in line with our capital allocation framework. The business is very well positioned to grow and to continue to deliver strong returns for our shareholders. Thanks Kevin. Looking ahead in FY25, we have taken a prudent approach to guidance in our first year with our new assets. We expect to produce total ROM volumes in the range of 35 to 39.5 million tonnes and manage coal sales between 28 and 31.5 million tonnes. Delivering sustainable operational performance and improved cost management across the business will be our focus. We are excited about the opportunity to deliver significant value from our new Queensland operations, including further alignment of Dornier and Blackwater with Whitehaven's simplified operating model. Our results once again demonstrate our ongoing commitment to delivering shareholder value. I'm looking forward to reporting a full year with our Queensland and New South Wales operations together in our expanded portfolio. To close, I'd like to thank all of our people for their hard work and commitment during this pivotal year and our shareholders for their ongoing support.